Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. Now that we've got that crappy post commentary over, let's go talk to uh, the rest of the people here in town. Let's go talk to the... the fuck is the Kitsune? Are you the Kitsune? Um, you're Jay Lindsay, right? Why, yes, that's me, and what's your name? Barkley, and this is Barthios. Why, hello there, Barkley. Hello, Barthios. Welcome to Cesspool Eggs. It's a tiny little town, but I hope you guys enjoy it here as much as we do. Thank you. We appreciate that. Um, listen, we're new here and wanted to get to know some people in the town. Could we maybe ask you a few questions and see what you're all about? Sure thing. I love getting to know new people. Great. Okay, then. Barkley here will ask you a few questions. Bring them on. Okay, uh... Um... <laughs> Uh, what are your interests? I think I'm interested in what most of my friends here are interested in. Animals! I love animals so much! As you can see, I even wanted to become one. That's how much I love animals. I love petting animals and talking to animals and being nearby animals. Also, I'm a kitsune, so I enjoy hunting animals. I do not eat them. I'm a strict vegetarian. I love animals too much. But I am a foxy, and what foxies love to do is hunt. So I like to find little animals and sneak up on them and pounce on them and wrestle with them and then let them go. I love animals so much, I even love hunting them. Nicely, though. Um, how would you describe yourself? What am I like? Hmm, that's a tough one. Just kidding. I'm a person that likes animals a lot. Back when I was a norm like you, way back before the bee ball matched I worked at the zoo, I was a really nice one. I felt so bad about animals being in cages, but I just loved them so much and I was the only and it was the only place I could see them. So in retrospect, I am definitely sorry about working there and perpetually that terrible industry of animal slavery, but I loved working there while I was working there because I love animals. I loved animals. I loved animals so much. I mean, they had me clean up the droppings of the cages because I was the only one there who loved animals enough to do that. So there you go. That's what I am like. I love animals. She likes animals. I think she likes animals. I'm pretty sure the bitch likes animals. Um, how do you like cesspool eggs? I was checking this to make sure there was nothing about I like liking animals in this one, so. Um, how do I like cesspool eggs? I ain't reading this bit, because this bitch is annoying. So we'll just skip through this. Like me down here, people like Frank and Zalatar and Chip, and like Eric, people that share my ideals and viewpoints and passions and really, really good friends. And that is all. She likes animals. Thank you, Lindsay. You've been a great help. You're welcome. Helping is one of my just kitsune's favorite things to do. I hope that's informative enough to write a halfway decent poem with. Let's retire elsewhere and compose this. Hurry up, you- Is that the fuck- Oh god, god damn it. Fucking piece of- Anyway, hurry up, you've been writing that for an hour. Patience, Barkley. Good art takes time. I might as well show you what I have, however. Here you are. Hark, I call upon the muse to grant me thus the ability of all great bards, that is, to use your gifts in poetry. O oh, muse, grant me words, as that I need, to speak of such beauty as she. I am in bondage, aching to be free, by the beauty I speak of, J. Lindsay. Honestly, Bavios, it is probably worse than the left me feeling smashing. I haven't written in a while, I apologize. Don't worry, we can just fill in, fill it with that shit we learned she's into. She'll probably like it more than the other one. I hope so. Anyway, after this, we can have a few fragments I need some help with. I have the beginnings of some lines, but you need to make suggestions for the end. Data analysis complete. Oh, what do you want about, Vince? I have compiled the information gathered from Jay Lindsay, ready to assist in poem creation. You actually listen to us talk about that shit? Correct. Vince, can you step away for a moment? Affirmative. Barkley. I don't mean to put Vince down or anything, but... What now? He's a robot, Barkley. I don't think he knows anything about love. So take any of his suggestions with a grain of salt. Whatever, let's get this over with already. Alright, Vince, any suggestions you have are appreciated. Here's the first part. I ask that she envelops my fragile heart and with her magic mend its cracks. I ask that we grow old never apart and that she... And this is where I am stuck. So tell me what you like here. And that she... Enjoys hunting small animals. Um... Uh, 
fuck it, go with Vince's advice. I don't give a shit. Yeah, and that she enjoys hunting small prey. That doesn't really rhyme, but and do you remember that little talk we had earlier? Just do it. Okay then. Now after those first three stanzas, A B A B C D C D N E F E F, I will, as is fitting accordingly to the hallowed tradition of the post cyber apocalyptic sonnet, I shall include with uh, conclude with two couplets of G G and H H. I really don't give a goddamn about how your poetry works, but go ahead. Um, never before have I met one so fair, or who does not mind animal feces much. Yeah, that one's a little bit weird, Vance. I'm gonna have to decline that one. Live so freely without a care. Boxes are somewhat free-spirited, I think. Maybe I don't really know anything about animals. I suppose that's a tolerable line. Okay, finally, this is the last line. More than wonders of the world, I love her. So she should be Duke and Earl, really? When she danced and twirled majestically, flat. Yeah, fuck this. I'll just go with Vincent's advice. But that doesn't even rhyme. So when she danced and twirled. When did she dance? Do you even know what you're writing? The tense changes halfway through the rhyme. This is embarrassing. I suppose we're finished. Are you happy with the way the poem is? We can start over and go through the lines again. Fuck that. Now it's fine, man. Um, if that's all, we should deliver this to Jay Lindsay now. Okay, well, I'll talk to that little thing here in a second. Okay, so stop moving, Lindsay. Hi, it's you again. What brings you back? I was told to deliver this. It's a poem. It's from the snail. It's from Eric? Yeah, Eric, the snail. Read it. This, hmm, this is, is something, I mean, it's long, he must have tried hard, maybe, thanks, I guess, if you see him, could you tell him I said thank you to him? Should probably come by and say it myself sometime. He's a cute guy and all, but this poetry is really bewildering, sort of. I can't really imagine what was running through the writer's head. Anyway, thanks for bringing it by, guys, I'll ask him about it later. So it was that bad. Let's just get our reward and get out of here. Yeah... Probably wasted a shit ton of time on that. She says thanks, and then she'll come by later. She's coming by? Thank you so much, Barkley. Thank you so much, Bob. This is really the best day of my life. The woman of my dreams is coming to talk to me, and she liked my poetry. Why did I ever doubt myself? Silly, Eric. Anyway, here is your reward. As agreed, I hope it served you well. 400 Neo Shaggles. Not worth the amount of time it took to do that. Thank you, Eric. I hope good fortune continues to bless you. So, he's gonna fucking need it. Oh my god, is he going to need it? Alright, what do we got in here? Fat ass piggy pig pig, what are you doing? Hello, travelers. Oh, that look on your face. You must be wondering where we have a full armory here in our village. While all of us endorse and encourage non-violent methods of dealing with conflict, there are many above ground who do not share our views. Every few months, we'll get a raid from the service. Usually, they don't cause us much trouble. A few rocks or bottles thrown, and maybe a few of us will go to bed with bruises. Every once in a while, however, their hatred will become too great, their attacks too violent. Once, more, on more than one occasion, these weapons we, you see, have saved our lives. It's regrettable that we must use them, and clearly against our principles, but to save the lives of one of my brothers and our sisters... Uh, whatever. To save the lives of one of my comrades? If it comes to that, I will gladly give up those principles. It pains me to think that I might have ever to hurt any living being, but everyone here is family to me. I would do anything to protect them, even if it meant taking up arms. In the meantime, though, I suppose I'll just pray it never comes to that. Why do I even talk to people? Weapons, huh? Oh god, he's dressed up like the fucking thing from Looney Tunes. I think it's Looney Tunes. Anyway, we need them for the norms, I guess. You come here from the sewers on the tomb of the newcomer's place? Or the tomb off the... I, I don't know. Anyway, I got what you need. Alright, so we actually got some items here. Bye. It doesn't actually have a price. Oh, wait. Wait, does it have a price now? No, I don't actually see a prize. Oh, wait, 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 never mind. I see it. I'm fucking retarded. Anyway, so it looks like uh, we got a spiked B ball, a thunder dropper, zobber, a time zobber, takes advantage of the space time continuum. It's not really that expensive either. That's odd. Ace bandage provides compression, ice it when you get home. A sweat band, excellent sweat absorption, and uh, we'll actually come back here because I saw something about a dwarf, and considering that we'll probably be getting a cyber dwarf teammate soon, if that, if that's it, then scram, I've got nothing else for you, okay. But we're, we're gonna get another teammate soon, so we'll come back here when we have him. What the fuck is that face? It's funny how far away the best day of my life seems from here. What's that supposed to mean? Look at this place. It's a shithole, literally. They said you would never be afraid to be yourself, but I guess that's only if you're like Neem. I wasn't. 
I wasn't like them and look where I am now. I'm hiding for my life in the sewer. But you know what? I hid just as much when I was back up there. But I wasn't hiding from them. I was hiding from myself. You know what? I'd rather be hiding from them, hiding from them than from me. Does that make any sense to you? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Let me ask you then something, Charles. What are you? Me? I'm Charles Barkley. I know that part. What are you? What are you deep down at the core of your sword? A baller. But when was the last time you played before? Back before the purge. That was 12 years ago, Charles. I guess you're not really a baller then. You shut the fuck up! You have no right to say that shit! That's my point though, down here I can always be who I really am. A turkey, and no one can stop me. Sure, I'm hiding from them, but I'm not hiding from myself. You? You're hiding from yourself. Every day you hear the gentle calling of that bumpity orange ball. You hear a swalding quietly begging you. Barkley, bounce me! But you don't. You don't because of him. Be balls in your blood, Barkley. And you don't admit it because you don't want you to. You're hiding from yourself. You're... You're wrong. Nah, so be it, Barkley. Maybe I am. I don't know why I gave him a French voice. So what the fuck are you? Grrr. Woof woof. Okay, it's an actual dog. See that dog in Nike's over there? I've only seen him talk out of character AOC once. He sure loved his bone, though. I bet if you got him a really delicious bone, he'd talk to you. Maybe he'd even give you those sweet kicks. Those Nikes. I gotta get those Nikes. Really? Okay, so what do we got going on here? Oh yeah, we got this motherfucker. You can stay if you don't shed all over the bed, Norm. Uh, no thank you. Goodbye. And then we still need to talk to you. You know, some, um, you know, sometimes people ask me why I chose to get Huckleberry. Oh, Huckleberry Hound. What the fuck did I call him last time? I don't know. Huckleberry Hound, Black Surgeon, and I can't really give him an answer. Not because I'm afraid they'll just lie to me or think I'm a freak or anything, it's just that I can't pinpoint an answer. I mean, yeah, the sexual attraction was always there, but I don't think that's really it. My dad was an alcoholic. He was never really there. He was always wasting his time and money at the bar. Before he left the bar, he'd always tell me, You stay there and watch TV, and if you're not here when I get back, well, boy, there'll be hell to pay. So I watched the TV. The favorite show was Huckleberry Hound. I just loved that dog. The way he talked, the way he sang and danced, it was great. I, I guess I looked at Huckleberry Hound as the father I never had. I mean, he taught me how to ride a bike. He taught me how to swim. He taught me everything. But I didn't just want to be like Huckleberry Hound. I wanted to be him. But here I am, Huckleberry Hound. That is me. This is who I was born to be. These fucking people are weird. Barkley, this is Cyber Dwarf's house. There's something I think I should tell you. Huh? What's the problem? The Cyber Dwarf. He doesn't look normal, Barkley. Don't stare at him. Huh? Sure, whatever. I won't stare. Okay. Okay, so that's the Cyber Dwarf's house, and that's probably the way out. Let's go in here first. What the flippity fuck are you? I've got what you need, man. Um... Alright, now hit the road. Yep, okay, I think we're pretty much done here. Let's go talk to the, uh, dwarf. Hold on, that thing's in the way. Barkley, I've been waiting for you. Is that Cyber Dwarf? Yes, that is I. I... Barkley! You're looking at my face, aren't you? You're wondering why I look like I do. No, that's not... I am not from here, Barkley. I'm from another world far away. A world of dwarves. Where are you from? I'm from space. Y your face? Barkley! It was the fire. I lost control of my ship upon entry of the planet's atmosphere, and the fire ravaged my ship. I will never be able to go home now, but even more, it ravaged my body. Somebody found me and took me to the hospital, but it was no use. The fire destroyed my flesh, and the hospital had no cyber dwarf skin. All they had were bee balls. They are forced to graft bee balls to your skin. Yes, I have flesh of bee balls now. Ah, oh, my head. I'm having, I got a aneurysm. Anyway, I am sorry, Cyber Dwarf. There are more important things to be sorry about, like your father's predicament, Barkley. My father? Barthios, this is Barkley, isn't it? Hoops, Barkley. No, Cyberdwarf, this is Charles. Hoops, father. I thought you wanted me to bring Charles. Damn it, Balthios, I said Hoops. Charles is not the one. Bzit, bzit, the one. Zit, bzit. Vinsborg, 2050, what's happening? Nothing, Balthios. I thought I was getting back my memories, but it was nothing. Balthios, this grave error has come.